Hi everybody, it's me again Boo <clears throat> and today I'm back for a really special video. This video is uh, serves a couple different purposes. For one, it is a big happy birthday to Kedra Hart. Um, most people in Fragcom know who she is, but in case you don't, Kedra Hart is the nose and um, the brains behind Opus Oils. She's a wonderful, wonderful perfumer. Um, and she's very generous with her talents. So she has helped develop perfumes for other houses and other people's projects as well. And <clears throat> she's amazing. She comes out with the most unique fragrances and some really fun themes to them as well. I have many of Opus Oils and I will probably have many more in the future. So for one thing, happy birthday Kedra. And the other thing is to celebrate her birthday and her, her talent um, there's a few perfumers. Uh, Monica from Perfume Farmer got a hold of me and said, let's do a contest for her. How fun would that be? On And a contest that just focuses on those fragrances that she made for other houses. Um, it's best if you're over 18. The other thing is Conus. It's got to be continental U.S. only. Um, shipping just would be way too much to be shipping, um, you know, out of country. So it's only going to be, and Hawaii and Alaska, unfortunately, as well. So only continental U.S. Um, the other thing is, this is only going to be for my subscribers. And this is also my way of thanking my subbers for hanging in there through, <laughs> through some really thick and thin and funky times with me. And, you know, in another month, I'll be doing this for about a year. And a lot of you have been there with me from the get-go, and I really appreciate that. So let's get to it. There is, like I said, 11 samples. And um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, uh, I want you to PM me. Do not leave a comment. I'm not going to include any comments in on the, the contest because YouTube is very funky on how it notifies me and lets me know that I have comment. I miss many of them because their notifications suck. So, if you PM me though, I will get the private message. And I want you to put in that PM so I know that it's in the contest. For one thing, the word contest. I want that to be the very first word that you put in the, the personal message to me is contest. Then I want you to tell me which one of these samples you're most excited about receiving if you win the contest. And a little bit, maybe a sentence about why. So if it's Mother that you're really excited about because you saw my Mickers do a review on it and it got you excited, then that's all you need to say. But make sure you start with the word contest. So anyway, we'll just get started. And I'll start with Monica's from Perfume Farmer. You probably heard the Fragrance Bros talk about them a little bit. And uh, they did a video on them as well. And one is called Strawberry Cream and one is called Strawberry Green. So let me tell you what's in them. The green has top notes of pink pepper, red mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, lemon, natural ivy accord, middle notes are rose, tuberose, baronia, white water lily, black currant, natural peach accord, natural strawberry accord, and base notes are green tea, amber, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, vetiver, oak moss, and beach found ambergris. So strawberry um, cream, top notes are bergamot, tangerine, red mandarin, pink pepper, Middle notes are baronia, rose, tuberose, jasmine, black currant, natural peach accord, natural strawberry, strawberry accord, natural raspberry accord. Base notes are amber patchouli, vanilla, sandalwood, and beach found ambergris. And I'm not going to get into a whole lot of impressions with each one because I have a lot to go through. And um, so anyway, just know that they're fabulous. Highly recommend them. And you will be getting one of each of these uh, samples. I don't know if it's going to come in a thing like this or more of one of those little daubers. I doubt it'll be a spray sample, it'll probably be a dauber. So anyway, that's Strawberry Passion Green and Cream from Perfume Farmer. Okay, this is the uh, uh, R rating portion of this video. Um, <laughs> I think I've only dropped the F-bomb one other time in the year that I've been doing this. So here goes for a second time, but it's the name of the fragrance, so I have to say it. And this is Starfucker. I kid you not. That is exactly what it's called. Starfucker. It's kind of fun to say. Starfucker, starfucker, starfucker. Anyway, this one is Keynotes of Lime, Green Mandarin, Lemon Essence, 
Italian Bergamot, Wild Orange, Orange Flower Water, Absolute, Lavender Seville, Jasmine Sandalwood, um, ISOE Super, Amber Vetiver, Black Agar, and Oak Moss. And um, this is from Tiger Powers house. This one she did for Tiger Powers. I totally think it's unisex and really good for spring and summer. So that star fucker. Glam Monster is the next one. Anyway, so Glam Monster, um, initial burst of pink pepper and white grapefruit, and then uh, Tuberose Jasmine, Casablanca Lily, uh, Oud Narcissus, Bittersweet Chocolate, and this is divine. This is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I get a real fruity kind of a, very unisex though. And that's Glam Monster. Eau de Flog. So here's Eau de Flog. You see that? And Opus Oils has the links to most of these fragrances. So if, if you want to know where to get them, just go on Opus Oils under the Custom Scents and you'll be able to get links to most of these fragrances. Eau de Flog, uh, keynotes include proprietary uh, jasmine blend, white musk, neroli, peach, sandalwood, and amber. And again, all of these I think are totally unisex. Anyway, this one is... <laughs> called Satan's Angel and Queen of the Fire Tassels and this chick is so cool she has her own website and she's called Satan's Angel she has another name I can't remember it but uh, uh, Kedra did a perfume for her as well and she's a burlesque dancer keynotes of black gardenia ginger lily jasmine um, white grapefruit lychee, oak moss, and labdanum. And again, I, I know you would think because of the name and everything and, and the picture on there that it would be very feminine, but again, these are all really unisex. Next one I'm going to talk about, I actually couldn't find the notes for it. So Monica, the perfume farmer, and I kind of did a round table thing and kind of were given our impressions and what we thought were in it. She gets uh, uh, definite fruity notes and some tobacco and some woods and uh, pencil shaving note and I get all of that too but I interpret it more because um, when I smell pencil shavings I got that a lot in Ombre Sultan uh, by Serge Luton and I think it's the amber I think if it's a dry antique kind of an amber that I get the pencil shaving note but I think there's woods in there as well and then some tobacco and some fruity notes. I mean, it's really lovely stuff. Um, this was made uh, for a place in New Orleans, um, a little shop down there. So when you smell this, you really get kind of this, uh, like what uh, Monica and I were talking about was like being down on Bourbon Street or something of New Orleans, and um, you're in a curio shop with uh, Madame Cure, or, uh, uh, the House of Voodoo is right next door. So there's some incense in there too. And then the fruity notes and that antique amber or wood notes, but it's not like a cedar wood. It's more like a, in my opinion, kind of a sun-dried, sun-baked wood, you know? Has that real dry and kind of old smell to it. Fabulous. So again, that is Rouge Beauty. Then another one, Mother is another one. This one I actually have a full bottle of, but I'm just going to show you the sample. This is so good. A boozy cocoa fig is what I get out of this. Very unisex. It smells like boozy figs and chocolate with hints of wild roses and woods. And you really, that's pretty much all you get out of that. Very rich, very heavy, thick, and beastly in its projection. But again, that's Mother by Opus Oils. But unearthly beauty. Now, um, Gretchen Bonaducci, you know, Danny Bonaducci's wife, uh, I don't know if she went to Kedra or Kedra went to her or if they were just friends or how this all developed. But anyway, she helped, her and Kedra got together and created this one, Unearthly Beauty. This one might be that tick over on the feminine side, but still totally unisex. I think all of these, again, are really unisex. Um, keynotes. Uh, crisp pink grapefruit, exotic ruby red grapefruit, 
uh, warmed by red raspberry and Indian jasmine with French vanilla and tonka bean absolute in the dry down. So that is unearthly beauty. Ah! There. See it? Babylon Noir. And um, now Babylon Noir, if, if anybody has um, uh, tried Mother or um, Mojo, what I get with Babylon Noir is Mother and Mojo were to, um, well, to use a term of my, one of my uh, fictitious intellectual heroes, Dr. Sheldon Cooper, that if they had coitus, then Babylon Noir would have been the result of that. <gasps> anyway, love him. Don't you love Big Bang? I love it. Anyway, um, that is exactly what it smells like to me, is a combination of Mother and um, uh, Mojo by Opus Oil. Oh, I forgot to tell you what's in uh, Babylon Noir. I better do that, huh? Okay, Babylon Noir. Let me go back to that one. Notes include indecent tuberose. Indecent tuberose. Now, if anybody's smelled real tuberose, they know it's all indecent. But I'm very curious about that. I'm, I'm wondering, is there any good girl tuberose out there? All of it's a little skanky to me, you know, in a good way, sort of. I'm just getting into tuberose. Um, narcotic peaches. Hmm. Luscious lychee. Oh, I see a theme here. Civet. You notice there's no... <laughs> Uh, delicious civet note there. Uh, smoke and leather. So now we're off to uh, Wild Child is the next one. And this is one I am definitely going to be popping a, for a bottle for. Um, it is so good. It's it's kind of a, a hippie fragrance and you know I think some people will consider it kind of a hippie fragrance because I think there's a lot of patch in here. So Wild Child number 13. Um, keynotes of dark patchouli. Hi, can I get a woo woo? I got one right. Uh, saffron, honey, milk, black currant, tuberose, peach, sandalwood, and vanilla. So again, that's Wild Child. Number 13 by Opus Oils. I have a real directional issue, I think, here. I never, oh, look, you get an extra friend. That comes free is the little dog hair attached to it there. So, Anyway, that is it for um, all of these samples. Again, Mother, Satan's Angel, Unearthly Beauty, Wild Child, Babylon Noir, Rouge Beauty, Eau de Flog, Glam Monster, Strawberry Cream, Strawberry Green, and Starfucker. So you will get um, a pack of all of those. Um, in this contest. And again, I'm going to say it again, over 18 preferably, uh, continental U.S. only. Also, PM me. Do not leave a comment. You need to personal message me. Start with the word contest. Then tell me which one of these samples you're most excited about potentially winning and one sentence on to why. I feel very privileged in being a part of this. So I thank everybody um, thank you for all you subscribers that hang in there with me, and I look forward to seeing your messages. All right. Happy birthday, Kedra.